I wonder if my 14 year old daughter wants to go fishing today. You sound great, girl. Oh, God. <laughs> Not nice here, eh? Hey, uh, you wanna go fishing? Uh, maybe. Depends what kind of fishing. Well, I think there's cowai out in the bay, so I wanna make a smoker and smoke some cowai. How are we gonna get there? Take out my punt, the dodgy sea punt. The nifty? Oh, the, the punt? Yeah, the punt, yeah. Okay. You keen? Yeah. Hey, carry on playing, that's beautiful. Go on, don't let me stop you. There's a camera now, you can't do it, isn't there? Come on, give it a crack. What do you got? Um, I, I don't know. I got an apple and I cut it up and I found this rack in a cupboard of many things. And I just put it in the... Try it. I'll try some. Hey, that's yum. You take this fishing with us, eh? Did it make more? <laughs> that's good. Yummy. It tastes like real dried apple. Yeah, that's awesome, kid. Right, put them in a wee uh, bag or something, we'll take those with us. Mm -hmm. Good chewing. Mm -hmm. Well done. What are you doing? A crab bit my toe. A crab bit your toe. Right, jump in the front, honey. I'll give you a life jacket. Yeah. Going on a mission, a fishing mission. Look, see, my handles on the sea. We're the new Mapua Ferry. Get your tickets. We're a bit dodgy, but we'll give it a crack. Oh, you have a good day anyway. See you later. So we just put the set line down there. Just gonna actually use the anchor because I've left my grapple at home. Not sure how this is gonna work out. Get the ball. Dodgy. Look at the deep. Getting in quite deep. That's cool. We've got enough of the tide coming in. Right, we'll leave that there. We're going to see if we can find some kawai. Right, let's go. We're about uh, 5k offshore and we're looking for kawai. And Dana's my spotter. She's just putting on a lure. And we've seen fish, honey. What do you see exactly? Boiler. Boiler. I can see it now, right out there. See the water? The tops. So that's what we're heading for. We want to get some car wider smoke. And there's a few birds, maybe another kilometre away. So you get that uh, lure sorted and um, we'll get going. We've got a small boil up straight ahead of us. Not much, but a few fish on the top of the water coming up. Being pushed up by fish below. I would expect you'll get a strike in the next couple of minutes, okay? Fish it on, here you go. Uh, oh, he's, he's still on? Yeah. Okay, good girl. Okay, I want to get him in the boat. Yeah, I haven't got a landing net because it broke. Here he comes, here he comes, just slowly. Just slowly, get him in the boat, honey. It'll be your first car wire. Well done, in the boat. Well done, good job, awesome. He's not a biggie, but he'd be perfect for the smoker. Look at that. Good one, kid. Okay, you honey, poke your line in the water. When you get a strike, you know what to say. Fish 
fish on or fish off. Keep your line tight, keep your line tight. All right. Good gill, nice fish. What'd you say? Yeah, I want to hear you say, fish on, Dad! Okay. Get him in the boat, that's the object of the game. Play him at the end here, just nice and firm. Keep your line tight all the time. Keep going. Yeah, just let him, let him play it a bit. Oh, good luck, right between your old man's legs. Jeez, it's only a wee one. You're lucky. Oh, you got some dried apple. Been waiting for that. Give some to your old man, come on. I'll get them. You're not putting your hands in here, they're covered in blood. Fair enough. Oh, a whole one piece. Lucky me, thanks. Mm. Alright, so there's sweet and blood and days of work to dry these out. They're great. Sorry, it's my family. Oh, oh you got a barracuda, honey. <laughs> let him run, let him run. Don't even step the line. Let him run, let him run, he'll snap it. What's that? Sandwich. Don't worry about your sandwich, worry about that fish. Did you lose it? You lost him. We've got a good catch of kawai, and our set line's just in front of us there. So we're going to uh, see what's on that. Are you ready, honey, to grab it? It's just up ahead. Grab it, grab it. Good kill. Hold tight. Okay, start pulling in, sweetheart. I'll give you a hand, I'll turn the engine off. Just be wary that uh, the hook can pull. But that's the way. There you go. Keep your string tied in the bottom of your bucket. Get him in the boat, sweetheart, before you lose him. Nice. Nice sweet carrot. Whoa. Why, why is it making that noise? He's known also as a grunter or a croaker, as they call him in the UK. I call him a flying fish. Take the hook out of his mouth, sweetheart. Hold him firmly with your hands. Do you want me to hold that line for you? I'll give you that there. Hold him firmly with your hands and take the hook out. No, not, not that side, go on the underbelly side, otherwise you're going to get a spine in your hand. Hold tight, squeeze tight. Firm grip. Firm grip first with your hand. You're holding, go further up higher. Go further up higher. Firm grip. Mind the spines. Now take the hook out of his mouth. Hold tight with both hands. That's a way, good girl. Put him in the bucket and we'll deal with him later. Quick, I've got to get this line. Put him in the bucket. So, got gotcha, you, did he? Did he get you? Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. Firm hand. Put your hands in his gills. So keep fingers in his gills. He's so big because he's so pretty. He's going to be pretty on my plate when I eat tonight. Do you want a bit of car wire, mate? <laughs> Grab my fish, honey. Put your fish in there, honey. Okay, thanks very much. Great. Enjoy it. Much, yeah. See you later. Yeah. That's uh, Bruce's dinner sorted. He'll appreciate that. Lives on the boat by himself. It's what I call a sea hermit. You gonna be sea hermit when you grow up? Yeah? You need to straighten up, sweetheart, other side. Well, we're 10k out to sea, and our motor died just coming up the channel. 
valuable lesson, always carry oars. Uh, this is a relatively new 15 horsepower Honda. It's been serviced and it shit itself. So your motor can die at any time. But we've got paddles and I've got a very strong paddler. We're just about home. I can see the Norman Jean, my new old boat. You alright there, honey? That oar's probably heavier than you. Hey, Kelsey, bro. How you doing? Good. Don't let your gun boots get full of water, bud. Just look at you, you look like a little pig under. <laughs> <laughs> I gave all the dogs outside the fish frames. And old house dog, pig dog here. Come here, boy. Come on. Don't touch my fingers. Okay, land lovers, I want to show you the ingredients that I'm using for this smoked, well it's hot smoked actually, there is a difference, I'm doing hot smoked today, kawai. In here I've got some coriander seeds with some coriander leaf and also a little bit of cracked pepper, some brown sugar cane sugar. I've got some coarse sea salt and I've got some Himalayan salt. Now you can make a brine with water and mix it all up and soak it, but I'm not. It's just the way I do it. I'm going to do it dry or dry as. I'm going to pour all ingredients into the bowl together. And mix it up with my hands because that's more fun. Give it a good mix up. I'm going to put my fillet straight in there and have a wee play with them. Now, when you're smoking stuff, we're doing hot smoke today, not cold smoke. You can make a brine and add water to this and soak it, but I'm not. I'm just going to leave my fillets in there like that there for about, oh, I don't know, four hours. I'm going to put it in the fridge, then come back and it uh, should be sweet to go on the smoker. So we're going to do probably, I don't know, six or eight fillets. Mm. When you stand in the fridge, just don't forget to cover it because uh, no one likes E. coli or botulism and all those things love fish. Sweet, right, we'll go stand that in the fridge about four to six hours. Bit of tinder, or at least the uh, Old man's bed. Looks a bit like it, doesn't it? I don't think the tree minds if I uh, rob a bit of this. Applewood bark, it's going to be really good for the smoker, makes a really nice sweet flavour and it, uh, it smokes really well too and it burns well. So I'm going to make a good pile of that and put that over my fire when the fish is on. So I've cut up this birch wood which I'm going to mix with the applewood, Very interesting combination. So we've got a mixture of apple wood and birch wood. I think we've safely got enough smoke on our fire now coming out of the chimney to start cooking that fish. Got a nice wee grill over the top and I found this old stainless steel sink. What do you reckon Bob? You reckon that'll work? Yeah? Probably will eh? We'll stick that over the top of that. First of all I'm going to just uh, drain off some of the stuff on my fish. So fish is on but I'm going to whack this uh, on top to even make it faster and keep it contained.
Right, she's had about uh, oh, 25 minutes, I suppose. Oh, that's hot. Looks good. Hell yeah. Bit of bread. Bit of this. And I'll give you my honest opinion. I won't bullshit. I'll tell you exactly how it tastes. That is bloody awesome. Okay, before you put that in your mouth, tell the world what you do for a job. What is your title? I smoke fish for the smokehouse at Marfa, mate. How long have you been doing that for? For the last 12 years. Last 12 years. So you know what smoke fish tastes like. So what I want you to do is give me... My honest opinion. Your honest opinion. Don't bullshit. If it tastes like shit, just say it. Because, you know, it's just a bit of kawaii. Sorry if there's any bones in there. He's got the uh, face of a wine taster, hasn't he? <laughs> Mate. That's bloody good. Really? Mm. Well, I'm happy then. That's really good. Is it? It's as good as anything I can do. You serious? Mm. Happy days. Okay. The wine's perfect. Moisture's perfect. Yeah. Nothing more to say but carry on eating, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really happy. That's made my day. We didn't catch a pig, but that's actually worth everything to me. Because if I could make Dan happy with smoked fish, I could make the world happy. Because <laughs> your, your smoked fish is commercially sold all over the place, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Between Auckland and Invercargill. Yeah. About 83, 43 pollies go out a week. Okay. Such a small beginning to almost an industrial outfit. I'm really pleased you're enjoying that, mate. Okay, let's do the Japanese test because you know what they like about their fish. <laughs> For sure. I don't know about Can I try this already? Yeah, yeah, just have it like it is. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really good. You like it? Yeah. A little bit salty. Yeah, you might have got a piece that had too much on it. It is quite salted, but hey, uh, the boss said that it was perfect, so I think I got it right. That's how it should be. Okay. I was coming out today, and I thought I want to give Dan my smoked fish, but I'm really nervous because <laughs> <laughs> he's a professional and I'm just a backyarder. And so I was really like, oh, shit, should I? Oh, man, and I'm making this YouTube clip for everyone to see, and I've gone through the process, and I've been practicing it. And if you guys, honestly, Clay, it's... It's pretty average, mate. In fact, it's shit. I would have just gone, oh. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant, eh? But what are you going to say about your own cooking, you know? Mind you, I'm, I'm my own worst critic with everything I do. Well, you did the best thing. You didn't overdo it. You left moisture in the fish, you know? Mm -hmm. As soon as that fish starts to crack in the smoker and split, it's overcooked. It's too dry. So Boo, you're not having the, any fish. The, 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 best, the, best, the best thing to do is just pull it just as it's, just as it's cooked. Mm -hmm. Even so, even when it's still a little bit glassy and the heat left in it will finish it off it all by itself. Right. That's good to know. Thanks. Anyway folks, good luck with your own smoking. <laughs> Not smoking isn't... Yeah. <laughs> smoking isn't smoking fish. We wouldn't do that. Yeah, no endorsement of that here. <laughs> mm. Yum. Everybody happy. <laughs> some bounty to feed my lovely bastards on the land for I'm a land dweller but born of 
thirsty lover when lands too hot for hunting, the seas where I am.